A few weeks ago, I was shopping in Costco and bought a 10 piece complete golf set. Although it was a little bit incomplete. So I went to Costco and got what I thought I needed to uh, complete it. Guys, today we are playing golf with a full Costco haul and we're gonna do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, in today's video, we are playing golf with everything from Costco. The Cobra 10 piece set, the Kirkland Signature Putter, the Kirkland Signature Wedges, the Kirkland three piece European cover golf ball version two. And I even got some gloves because I'm not gonna lie, they're just exceptional value. Guys, get in the comments below. What would you expect me to shoot with these golf clubs and also hit that like button we're going to play a handful of holes today if we get 10,000 likes on this video i'm going to play 18 holes in a tournament using all costco equipment these things bring back great memories actually because uh, i quite liked them and last but not least try not to fall over a sleeve of these should do us i'm actually using these you know they're actually really good Let's get out there um i'll tidy up as well you see guys the reason why i am doing this video is because as you may all know i love the idea of playing golf for cheap of playing good golf for cheap of enjoying golf on a budget but there's a difference between good value clubs and cheap rubbish guys if you're going to go and spend any amount of money on golf clubs then they still have to perform they still have to be okay they still have to be usable and last a pretty long time otherwise it's just cheap rubbish and you've wasted your money so when i bought this set of costco cobra xl golf clubs it says it's the complete set now i was a little bit worried about the wedges and the putter that was in the set but costco do that anyway so i thought what a great idea to match up this set of costco cobras with the kirkland wedges the kirkland putter the kirkland golf ball and the glove because that's pretty much everything you need apart from tees but i'm sure they do those as well right first ball first tee we're gonna go cobra hybrid guys i was really impressed with these clubs as well if you want to see the numbers i'm going to put them in this video a little bit later on as well for you so without any further ado i'm a kirkland signature one guys enjoy your game this feels very short actually now i'm here and that's going to do us all day ideally we want it to be further right but beggars can't be choosers and for the total value of this golf set i'm focusing more on enjoyment and when i say that in total honesty if you do put the price of the putter the price of the wedges the price of the clubs the price of the balls and the gloves i'm gonna list it all on screen now on the left hand side it's not it's not cheap it's not budget but it's cheaper and it's a better budget than a lot of the big brands would be so at what point do you expect to see that shift from cheap rubbish tat into quite good affordable golf stuff okay about 155 yards in here downhill but into the wind i'm going to go a time here guys one thing you do get with this set of irons woods and driver is the brand name cobra you get that kind of little bit of reassurance that those guys name is behind the clubs whereas sometimes i think especially with the kirkland stuff it's a bit like well kirkland make bog roll and ketchup so uh, is eight enough I'm going to go with yes because you don't get anything for long here. Match this with the Kirkland ball. This would be one hell of an opening birdie. Oh, that is online. Please be good. That's not moved in the air. Go! Oh, that's uh, landed front edge, you know. It's not quite released, but I'm taking that all day. And one thing that I noticed massively in the video with just the Cobra golf clubs is that turf interaction with the irons. It's exceptional, it's brilliant. For the price, 479 for a full set. Yes, yes. Now I think realistically there, we could have hit the seven iron in. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't expect it to stop on a dime like it did. I anticipated it might run out a little bit, but we'll certainly take that for stoppage with the Costco eight iron and golf ball combination. Let's see if we can roll this in. Go! Oh! 
you know, I forgot how good this thing does feel, you know. So for me, this very much reminds me of the Scotty Cameron square back putter. So almost like a Newport shape, but as you can see here, just a little bit more on the back. Now that's going to help you with MOI. It's going to give you a little bit more forgiveness. I don't think that looks bad at all. It's jam packed full of technology. Um, even if it does look like a hot sauce brand. And that is a very respectable part on the opening hole, almost as respectable as these golf clubs look like. As a bag, it almost looks like I know what I'm doing, doesn't it? Yeah, well, at least I look like I do. Now, this is where things could start to spoil just a little bit. So far, it's been all sunshine and rainbows. Now, you see, when I took this in the studio, guys, it wasn't... It wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. And I think that's because it does say Cobra on the bottom, although it is a 10 and a half degree and it is a regular flex. It's not in my specs. I couldn't get my specs. I still managed to hit a couple of decent ones on the golf course. But for me, when you know that when you really smash it, it's not going to give you the performance that maybe a fitted driver does, it starts going to get in your head a little bit. But then the whole set costs as much as a fitted driver would. So... I suppose you've got to think of that. Right. I do love the look of it. I love that racing stripe on top. Oh dear. Sit down. Um, you know those times where we hit driver on here and then we end up hitting like a wedge in and we hit it really close and we end up making a birdie? Um, yeah, I don't think this is gonna be one of those times. That's a long way right. And it almost upsets me that, because the fairway wood's fantastic, the hybrid is brilliant. Oh, the driver's just not quite there, not quite. It's just not quite as good as I want it to be. A lot of people have commented saying, James, why couldn't you compare this against a premium Cobra driver against the new Cobra LTDX? Guess what, that might be coming. Subscribe if you want to see it. Spoiler alert, it's coming. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. We've walked past that about four times. And this is where I'm not stupid. I'm not going to blame the driver totally because obviously there was a flaw in my swing there. I didn't quite put the swing on that driver that I needed to because I have hit good drives with that driver. Just not on this occasion. This is a hack out and then trust those wedges to get us back in with a shout. Do not go behind that tree. Sit. That is so lucky, I didn't even think about that. Lucky, lucky boy, chance. Now, the real honest question here is, would I be playing better with my golf clubs, with my fitted irons, with my fitted driver, and with my wedges that I cherish? I mean, I probably would have powered the first. I think I'd have played it very, very similar. Would I have hit the drive out here? Probably not. This is where you're starting to kind of regress with your scoring. And if you are going to play serious golf, maybe you need to think about your equipment a little bit more, get fitted for it and trust it. I didn't have any trust in the driver then, and that's why it happened. But you see, for me here, by injecting those wedges into the bag, this is where I feel way more comfortable of trying to get up and down here and rescuing a score. 56 degree. I'm a huge fan of everything about these wedges. The price, the looks, the performance. We have milled face technology. We have a lovely wide sole angle there just to give us a little bit more forgiveness. And that pin is teetering on the edge. So this has to be good. I almost don't think you can get close to this. We're gonna to have to rely on the putter. Might run it up. Go, go, go. That is as good as you can do. Stay there, stay. Oh, it's coming down. Look at this. Oh, that was like a foot away as well. Ah, oh, again, can't blame the club. Not really. That was a good shot. Just a difficult shot. Golf's tough. It was a good stroke. The putter feels really nice to stroke. It almost feels like it strokes itself. It's very well weighted. Definitely better than the Cobra option that you do get in the big package set. But that's a bogey. 140, playing 145, and the wind is just off the left, is it? The wind is just off the right. I think this is normally be a 9-9. I'm going to go with just a 
a nice little eight because I don't think it's going to be quite as highly performing. Let's get it on that shelf. Roll this in for birdie and everyone is happy, I think. Oh, be good. Be good. Sit. Sit. Oh, he's taking a horrible bounce. Oh. That was too much club. I'm going to go in with a nine as well, just because. I don't know if I told you guys, but I had a hole in one recently with a Costco ball, so it brings back good memories, really. See if we can have, well, this wouldn't be another, would it? But it would be a nice string to the bow. That's enough club as well, you know. The turf interaction, honestly, it feels as good as anything. But that's not to say we don't repair it. You see, that's actually two pretty decent shots. The second one just clung onto the right hand side here. The first one did land middle of the green, but it just took that little ridge down there. So it kind of robs us of that birdie opportunity. And one thing I'll say about these irons is I don't feel like I can necessarily play a fade with them because there is that much offset on them. So they are definitely designed to get the ball going straighter if you do miss it right. But not necessarily for me if I want to play a fade. Come on, miracle time. Hold this. That wasn't a bad effort. Wasn't a bad effort. For me there, one of the big things is that distance control. It was a little bit firm there, but I didn't really mind it. It wasn't a bad putt from 40 feet with a massive slope in it. You know what? Ugh. That is one over par using a full set of a Costco Hall of Golf Clubs. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Can't wait to see you at the same time tomorrow. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Bye.